What is up guys? So today we are going to be opening up a another Love to Get Media box. Um, we haven't opened up one of these in a little bit. I tried out a few and decided to take just a little bit of a break. Um, nothing wrong with the service at all. I just uh, kind of want to test myself to go out and find deals on games and uh, maybe not get as many loose discs. But I'm kind of getting more open to loose disc gaming thanks to uh, a little bit of something that MC Murr's doing on his channel. And uh, yeah, so I don't really mind. You can always get a case from later or, you know, upgrade if you do find an on deal. So I'm fine with that. Uh, let's hope we get our money's worth out of this at least. I've seen some people getting some pretty crazy boxes. Um, whether that's by design or not, <laughs> I don't know. I did see someone get a... XD Gale of Darkness, though, on the GameCube complete. I really should have opened this ahead of time. Um, that was nuts. I'm not really expecting that, but if it's a possibility that it could happen, so be it. You know what? I, I really should have opened this ahead of time. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I really forget what I'm subscribed to. Um, I definitely did cartridges. I did do 360 and PS2. And maybe... We or we do? I can't remember really. So whatever's in this is gonna be a surprise. Uh, we're gonna do it blindly. Let's get rid of our, uh, our bubble here. Let's see what we got. We are doing the five game box. They usually throw in an extra. And um, to my knowledge, they do that mainly in case a game doesn't work and things. At least that's what I got from their customer service when one of mine didn't work. They throw in an extra to cover that kind of an incident. So we'll see. Hopefully we'll get something cool though. Let's go ahead and start off game number one. He has a loose disc copy of Pure on the 360. Again, I don't really mind the loose disc as much. I can always get a CD case and put these in it and just play it until we get an upgrade. Uh, with a game like Pure though, as cheap as it is, <laughs> it's not as exciting to get this, but eh. It's okay, maybe something in this box will make up for it. That's what we're gonna hope. Let's see. So we got Viva Pinata, and we got it in this kind of a case. Uh, the case is kind of beat, or the cardboard, which kind of be expected for what it is. But uh, Viva Pinata here's a pretty good game, and it is uh, an exclusive, if I'm not mistaken. So I mean, it is kind of decent. Something to play. I mean, there's some of these games that I probably wouldn't play if I seen them out. So getting them this way is kind of cool. Let's see here. This feels like it is a game that might be complete. Ah, oh, Jesus. Thrill Bill. Yeah, okay. So, so far, I'm not too pleased. I mean, we better pull something out of this. We still got, I feel like, three chances, maybe. Let's go ahead and go with our next one. This one feels kind of heavy and complete, so, okay. Ghost Recon 2, Advanced Warfighter on the 360. Yeah, all the discs are gonna usually look pretty good because they do resurface these. Nothing wrong with that, I'm fine with that. I'd rather get that in a scratched up game. Uh, not doing so good on the value, I don't think. I'll try to pop up something maybe at the end of the video, maybe. Uh, you can tell by looking at some of these though, they're, there's not much to them. Yeah, Garden Warfare, which, Primarily is, you know, mostly online case. Not great, not complete. Eh. Yeah, again, pretty disappointed so far. This is... All right, we got one more. Okay, this might be something now. Maybe. I can't remember which one's the expensive one, but we got Transformers Fall of Cybertron. To my knowledge, this may be one of those games that's a little bit up there. Hopefully to make up for the rest of this box. Ah, uh, of course. Just a little bit of cracking on the part of the ring there you can kind of see to this side. Uh, I mean, it still shouldn't interfere with it playing, so I think that's fine. Um, I mean, based on this, Oh, yeah, they could have done better. Yeah, again, I mean, this one might be a little bit of a winner. Case looks like crap, but I can always replace it with a 
good old thrill bill. But uh, just to recap, nothing but 360 games. That's fine. We got pure Viva Pinata, Thrill Bill, Ghost Recon 2, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, and Transformers Fall of Cybertron. Uh, I mean, for 30 bucks, depending on Fall of Cybertron, this might have been okay. There's just not really anything I would necessarily play here. I am going to try out Viva Pinata for sure. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty disappointed. And I do, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes when I see people get good games, though, only the few that I've seen get really good boxes, it seems like they're the same people that usually have like a promo code for Love Again Media. So take that with a grain of salt. I mean, not, you know, I mean, it could just be a bad box. But I've not really gotten any big winners out of the ones I've had, but uh, at least for now, recommend it. Again, don't gamble with it and expect to get, you know, $100 video games in the box and things. Maybe you will, maybe you won't. Um, I think that's a good incentive since you can't really log what you have, so you might get duplicates every month. So, I don't know. I'm still going to try out the service another time or two, but uh, now if I get another box or two like this, probably would probably would let it go but we'll see um hope you guys enjoyed the video um maybe at least give them a try if you haven't um and it is a good service for people that don't have retro game stores in the area it's a good way to get a little bit of a collection for i mean 30 bucks and you get five or six games that's i mean saving your gas too and you know that's shipping is included so I'm torn on it. We'll see. We'll do another video or two, do another unboxing or two. We'll make a final decision on it. But I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you have a good rest of your, your week and logging off.